Hello, today we are going to install KDSRC minus build both for Qt 5 and Qt 6 on the same machine. This is my hardware machine. I have a clean installation of Kubuntu 2304. I do not have KDSRC minus build installed yet. So let's uh, start. I'm going to the official website of the KD community, kd.org, the hamburger menu, get involved, development, development. This is the entry point wiki page where we find out how to get started programming for KD. So community.kd.org, which is a wiki. And uh, then get involved development. This page used to be longer, but now the parts where the procedure on how to set up KDSRC minus build is located was split to its own page which is named set up a development environment. And then there's a separate wiki page on how to use KDSRC minus build. So let's go straight there. We are going to set up a KDSRC minus build installation, which by default will be Qt5 and KDE frameworks 5. And then we'll duplicate that installation for Qt6 and uh, KD Framework 6 according to the advanced topics uh, wiki page. It, I'm on Kubuntu, so it says that I should run this command line. Password of my Linux user. Okay, I'm not going to configure Git yet. So configuring Git is if you want to write to the Git repositories, whereas I want to read from the Git repositories, clone them locally, and then build the source code. Okay, I need to run this block. Okay, since I'm on Kubuntu, I need to run this command line. Okay, I can see a problem already. So it's using the wrong archive ubuntu.com mirror website. So for that, I need to edit the um, source files for APT. So that's done with the software properties. PKExec, what is that? Yeah, of course. Just a second. Okay, so I made it uh, work using sudo and then um, one of software properties, Qt or KD. So in here, I want to say download from the main server. Source code is semi-enabled. I have... Uh, Disabled automatic updates, enabled um, POCON. It looks okay. Just a second, let me check. Okay, so it should, uh, I'm not sure what happened here. So there's a, a deb line and then there's a deb SRC line. Okay, 
everything's really strange in here, so I'll need to clean up the file slash etsy slash apt slash sources dot list. So let me do that. The first line is okay. This line is um, also contains multiverse in here. So this is wrong. Control K. The next one. This should be archive ubuntu.com. So I take the first line and just replace deb with deb minus src. Lunar main restricted, that's okay. Control K. So that's archive again. Lunar updates main restricted, correct. So this is just archive. Next, archive. These lines are identical. These lines are identical. No archive, no row. This thing is a problem. So identical line, lunar backports, main restricted, the universe, multiverse. Control K. This thing. I'm not sure what this thing is. Lunar security. Okay. It seems to be okay now. So all of the lines that are not commented out and start with dev space should have a pair, an identical twin, but where uh, dev space is replaced with dev minus src space. Not sure why there's this trailing slash. Okay, let's run uh, sudo software properties KDE again. Seems okay. So I need to run up update. I'm not sure it reads the um, deb src lines. Okay, hopefully it did. Next, I need to run this block, not this block, just this command line. So we're uh, inside of the directory tilde slash kd slash src slash kdsrc minus build where kds where the git repository for kdsrc minus build was git cloned and in here there's um, a Perl file which is called kdsrc minus build no extension and that's uh, executable it's this thing so it's executable 
has the x chmod bit for uh, owner group and others. So now I can run this command. Okay, and it tells me that I have many dev packages missing on my machine, which is correct because uh, I have just installed the um, Linux operating system Kubuntu 2304 on this machine. Okay, so more than 200 packages missing, dev packages. Two hundred forty-three dev packages were downloaded and then installed. So these are Qt five and uh, other dev packages which are not part of Qt, do not use Qt, and not part of the KD community, such as compression libraries, I know, Python, Perl modules, image libraries. X um, org X server libraries. So in order to have two independent installations of KDSRC minus build, one will be in tilde slash uh, KD five and the other in tilde slash KD six. I do not want any configuration file to reside outside the directory tilde slash kd. I do not want any configuration file in tilde slash dot config slash kdsrc minus buildrc. I do not want tilde slash dot bashrc to be edited. So it already created the configuration file. But it did not yet touch uh, tilde slash dot bashrc. So the default option is to not touch tilde slash bashrc, which is okay. So I press enter, which means no, don't edit tilde slash dot bashrc. Okay. The next thing that I do is I move this configuration file. to the current directory, which is um, the directory where I git clone kdsrc minus build. The next thing that I want to do is to exclude the configuration file kdsrc minus build rc from uh, git. So if we use git, we see that we have an unstaged change, which is the file kdsrc minus build rc in the current directory. So we want to tell git, please ignore this file without actually editing the file dot git ignore. So that is done using the file inside of the hidden dot git directory. There's a um, There's a info directory and uh, there is an exclude file. Okay, so in here we want to exclude this file for now. So Ctrl S to save. Now refresh git GUI. It will say there are zero files that are unstaged, zero files that are staged changes. And inside of the history, we can see that the local git master branch points to the same git commit as the remote origin master branch, which is what we want. Okay. So that was um, inside of this place. Okay, 
and then we move to this configuration file. We have run this and these lines. and installed minimal minimum deb packages. Okay, so this is the current place where we're at. We have an installation of kdsrc minus build that's uh, self-contained, but you can only run kdsrc minus build from the directory where you git cloned kdsrc minus build and only if you prepend it with the dot slash. It's documented in here. Where is it? So portable installation of KDSRC minus build, the current directory where you are situated inside of your terminal is important when running KDSRC minus build. If there exists a file KDSRC minus build RC in the current directory, kdsrc minus build will prefer that over tilde slash dot config slash kdsrc minus build rc. In order to be extra safe, I we have removed this file. So we have moved this file from uh, the directory tilde slash dot config to the directory where we git clone kdsrc minus build. Okay, but then we are forced to use the command line like this, you need to first change directory into tilde slash kd slash src slash kdsrc minus build. And then you need to prefix the kdsrc minus build command line with dot slash. But this is a compromise that's okay for me because I want to have Two installations of kdsrc minus build independent of each other one for qt5 and the other for qt6 because this is uh, it's mandatory to have both kdsrc minus build for qt5 and qt6 if you want to edit the git repositories for kd frameworks or for uh, plasma and for some of the kd pim um, git repositories and for all of the kd git repositories that have too long the long-lived uh, git branches, one for Qt6 and one for Qt5. Okay. So it's documented in here. So there are a number of KD git repositories. So KD has more than 400 git repositories. Many of these, more than 100, have two long-lived branches. One is for uh, uh, Qt6 and it does not contain symbols from KD Frameworks uh, 5, which do not exist in KD Frameworks 6, so deprecated symbols. For uh, KD Frameworks, this branch is named master. For um, some of the KDP modules is uh, branches named KF6. It does not matter the name of the branch. Important is that there's a long lived Git branch for Qt6 that does not contain deprecated symbols. And the other long lived branch is for Qt6. Uh, the deprecated symbols still exist there. So you get uh, build warnings, but uh, you can build. So right now I'm prepared in a position where I can start uh, building. I do not need to source bashrc because I did not edit bashrc. I don't need to log out or and then log in to make the settings inside of um, tilde slash dot bashrc available. I don't need to set up Qt because I uh, my Linux OS has a new enough Qt five greater than uh, 5.15. Um, indexing, let's see if this is the case. So 
So it's disabled by default in Kubuntu 23.04, which is great. And now I can start building source code using kidsac-build. And this is the first command line to build something that I should run. I'm not running this thing before I uh, duplicate the installation of kidsac build such that I have two installations. Okay. How do I do that? CD. So I have to a directory. Oh, I have one directory which is called tilde slash kd, and I need to uh, I need to create two directories out of this one. One named kd5 and the other named kd6. So first I rename tilde slash kd to tilde slash kd and then I'm going to copy the entirety of tilde slash kd5 to tilde slash kd6. Okay, let's actually look inside of these um, directories. So kd5, there's just one directory inside, src, just one directory, kdsrc minus build. This is where kdsrc minus build uh, git repository was cloned. There's an important file in here which is called kdsrc minus buildrc. Let's look at how it's configured. So branch group kf5 uh, qt5. This is really important and default. Um, the directories are okay. This thing should be, in my case, debug because I am actually running a debugger over the source code, over the binaries. And num cores should be closer to what I have. So I have uh, 16 cores, so let's make this 15. I have um, 16 CPU threads. And um, these things could be shortened. Replace all. because uh, this file exists in the exact same directory where the file kdsrc-buildrc exists, I do not need to provide a full path. Just the name of the file is more than enough. This also cleans uh, the file kdsrc-buildrc. Okay, looks okay. Let's look at the other file. Control T. So kdsr uh, tilde slash kd6, kdsrc minus buildrc f4, in here should be kf6, qt6. So when we try to have uh, two kdsrc minus uh, build installations on the same machine, one for Qt6, another for Qt5. In order to convert an installation of type Qt6 to Qt5, to uh, Qt5 to Qt6, we can edit the configuration file kdsrc minus buildrc and replace all of the fives with the six. So let's do this. Control R, up six, replace, yes, Qt6, yes. KF5 6, yes, Qt6, yes, Qt6, yes, KF5 6, KF5 6, Qt6. Okay, so I've replaced all of the fives with a six. This is wrong, should be debug in my case. Okay, this should be 15. And then this full path I do not need. Control R, replace all, and this should be it. Okay, let's now exercise the two directories. So cd tilde slash kd5, src kdsrc minus build. I need to be inside of this directory in order for kdsrc minus build to work, and then I need to prepend kdsrc minus build with dot slash. 
Okay. What I want to run is kdsrc build calc. So again, I'm changing it to the directory where this Perl file exists. And then instead of this short command line, I will need to prepend it with dot slash. Okay, calc. Let's see if this is actually a um, build of um, KF5, Qt5. It doesn't say which uh, Git branch it uses. So in order to build kcalc, it will need to um, git clone the git repository, kd git repository, sysadmin repo metadata, which contains the list of dependencies between kd git repositories. There it found that out that kcalc depends on 24 other kd git repositories. The first one is always ECM extra CMake modules. Then there's um, 20 kdgit repositories for kd frameworks and um, other libraries required by kd frameworks. Okay, so let's look at the git repository of kconfig. So kd5 src Okay, so I messed up my installation. Let's stop this thing. Okay. So inside of the KD5 directory, of ckdsrc minus build, I need to edit the buildrc file such that it uses KD5. So this directory instead of this directory. Replace. Okay, so I'm not using tilde slash kd. I'm using tilde slash kd5 or uh, qt5. Okay. Let's run the command line again. Let's see if ECM and KCore add-ons work get cloned into the correct directory, which is this one. Great. Okay. Let's make sure that uh, the git branch for kcore add-ons, which is part of KD Frameworks version 5, is uh, I don't know, KF5 or what's the name of the branch? kcore add-ons. So the name of the branch is KF5, the long-lived branch for Qt5, and the long-lived branch for Qt6 is called master. Okay, so this is um, the branch for Qt6, master, and this is the branch for Qt5, which is named KF5. Okay, so kdsrc minus build new which branch to use for which kd git repository. Okay, so it built um, eight kd git repositories out of 25. Let's now work on the tilde slash kd6. 
hdsrc minus build installation so in here we we'll need to replace this with six Let's see if I can build in parallel. That would, should be interesting. So change into uh, this directory. And then the command line is this one, but with a dot slash in front. Okay, so building kconfig for Qt6 failed and it's going to show me the errors as a file containing the errors which I can control click on because I'm in the terminal named console that will open that file path inside of the text editor Kate and then we'll look at the errors. The errors will say that I do not have Qt6 and other dev packages which use Qt6 installed on my Kubuntu 23.04 machine. Okay. So it's uh, doing um, work in parallel. One parallel task is to git clone of all of the needed git repositories so it uh, git clones 24 kd git repositories and the other parallel task is to build kconfig that failed and then it's showing me the final results which says that kconfig cannot be built because qt6 is not installed so control click on the full path opens with kate and it says um, that um, ECM query Qt failed. So we totally did not uh, find Qt6. Let's go back to the wiki page to find out what the packages we need to install on Ubuntu in order to have Qt6. So it says installing the Qt6 development packages. Let's run all of these. Okay, so installs many, many dev packages related to Qt6, including the dev package, dev package. I press enter, which will perform the installation because Y is the default option. Okay, so we downloaded 84 dev packages. It's installing those. Okay, now we can go back to the Qt6 KDSRC minus build. We can see if it's Qt6 or Qt5 in the bash prompt for the current directory. So back to building it as asymmetrous build, click calc. It successfully ran um, CMake configure step for the kconfig KDE git repository. So it did find all of the needed uh, dip packages installed on my machine. Debian packages. Okay, let's see in tab one what happens. So, um,
in order for KDSRC minus B to be able to build um, the desktop calculator KCalc, it needs to build many KD Git repositories from KD Frameworks 5. And one of those is uh, K notifications, which has this uh, bug that it uh, doesn't uh, require um, a third party library in a uh, strident enough manner. So it should uh, definitely fail if uh, the third party library Canberra is not installed. Whereas it says Canberra is not installed, let's try Phonon, which is wrong. Okay, so we should install Canberra, not Phonon. Okay, so I have a um, merge request for that. KD in bank, KDSRC minus build. Merge requests. This thing. Add libcanbera dev for key notifications. Which just installs this package libcanbera dev. Okay, so let's do that. Oh, install. Okay, and now to make the build be a bit faster, I'm going to go minus minus resume from this thing, key notifications. Okay, it finished um, successfully the CMA configure step, so it found all of the dependencies, and now it's compiling and then installing. Okay, the penultimate module is KXML GUI, still from KD Frameworks version 5, and the last one will be KCalc. KCalc depends on two deb packages, which are not part of, that do not use Qt, are not part of Qt, not part of KD, which are GNU libraries, MPFR, and GMP, which seems that those were already installed. So KCalc was installed successfully. Let's now run it. Again, we need to prepend dot slash in front of the command line for running, which is this guy. Okay, so this is the KCal from KDSRC minus build. Um, for Qt 5, so it uses fresh source code from Git. This KCalc 2 is the one from um, Kubuntu 2304. Okay, so this is from Kubuntu 2304. It says KCalc version 22.12.3. And KD Frameworks version 5.104. Whereas uh, the one built from source from uh, for Qt5 is um, a newer version 23 instead of uh, 07 instead of 22.12. And KD Frameworks is newer 5.109 instead of 5.104. Okay. So now Wayland failed, and Wayland fails because I miss at least 100 uh, dev packages. So it needs Doxygen. Where do I find those things? This thing. Okay, let's install those. 
to the installs Java, a ton of uh, Perl uh, modules, text, fonts, in order to convert from uh, one file type, plain, uh, plain text file format to another. So this is for the open source free software project named Wayland, which Wayland is um, about protocols not about the imp reference implementation of Wayland. So the reference implementation is named West Weston. Okay. It did install all of the packages and now it's running the post um, install scripts. Certificate Authority Certificates Java, Ruby. Very large number of the packages just for building um, the Wayland Git repository. Okay, so similarly, we're going to build um, KCalc using KTSRC minus build again for Qt 6, but we're going to tell it resume from the module Wayland. Okay, and KDSRC minus build has the default configuration which says that stop on failure. If uh, one Git repository fails to build one module, stop there. Which is what we want at least initially when we set up KDSRC minus build because we'll need to install more Debian packages while in the first hours of setting up KDSRC minus build. Okay, so 17 more uh, KDGit repositories to build. I'll be back if um, there are more failures or if this succeeds. Okay, so uh, KDSRC minus build Qt6 has finished uh, building KCAL correctly. Now we have this next issue where inside of the directory where we git clone kdsc minus build another file is automatically generated and this will uh, mess up git and the file is named dot uh, kdsc minus build minus data so let's copy the name of the file and uh, let's see if this echo thing actually works. So in here, from ZBG, paste. So we need to add to tilde slash kd5 slash src slash kdsrc minus build the hidden dot git directory info exclude file. The file dot git src minus build um, minus data. So let's see if this works. It did work. Okay, so it appended in the correct place. 
Let's do the same thing for the kit SRC minus build kit 6 installation. Okay. So the second tab is where I install the packages. The first tab is where I use KDSRC minus build for Qt5. The third one, let's make them close to each other, is where I run KDSRC minus build for Qt6. And in here again, I can start Kcalc. Okay. So let's see all of the three Kcalcs. Okay. It's the other way around. I don't know how to do this thing. Okay, so the third K calc is from Qt6. You can see a version of Qt is 6.4.2, whereas the other two have Qt version 5.15. K calc 2 is uh, So KCalc2 is um, from my from the packages from my Linux operating system. It uses KD Frameworks 5.104. The one on the left is uh, built using KD SRC minus build Qt5, uses KD Framework 1.109. And then the third one is built using KD SRC minus build Qt6 uses KD Frameworks 5.240. So this one, 240, is a number that's near to the maximum possible version, which is 5.250. Uh, or 55, or whatever is the maximum for each element of the um, version each integer, integer of the version. Okay, so this is all I have uh, healthy installations of KDSRC minus build Qt5 and KDSRC minus build Qt6 living side by side on the same machine, in the same uh, Linux user account, in different directories. One is tilde slash kd6 for q6 and the other one is tilde slash kd5 the only thing that i need to remember is to have these two console terminal tabs opened one for working using kd src minus build q5 and the other used for building kd src minus build q6 where always the current directory is still the slash kd slash src slash kd src minus build and uh, in the first tab the current directory is always still the slash kd5 slash src slash kd src minus build if i move out of these directories i will not be able to find kd src minus build it's not in my path and if and if i manage to find kd src minus build it's not going to be able to find the configuration file so it's really important that the current directory and if i go pwd it says tilde slash kd slash src slash kd src minus build in both tabs. And that's it. Once 
I have these two tabs open. I can use KDSRC minus build to build things. And I always know that the first tab is Qt5 and the second tab is Qt6. The instructions ended up being uh, first I set up KDSRC minus build in tilde slash KD. So these are the instructions from the wiki page. So the first wiki page is get involved development. Where are you? In here. It says set up the development environment. In here it instructs me to run this command line which I did. Then it instructs me to run these three lines which I did. Then it says I should run this command line which I did. Then I moved the file tila slash dot config slash kdsrc manage build to the current directory. Then I'm adding to the dot git hidden directory info exclude to files. Otherwise, the git repository for kdsrc minus build will say that they, I have unstaged changes, which I do not want because I want to make sure kdsrc minus build is always up to date, which I can do using kdsrc minus build space kdsrc minus build. So kdsrc minus build needs knows how to update itself. Or I could go um, git fetch, git rebase origin master to make sure I always use the latest KDSRC minus build in both installations, Qt5 and Qt6. I need to do this from time to time. Then I'm copying the installation from tilde slash KD to tilde slash KD5. In there, I'm replacing all slash KD slash with uh, slash KD5. And then I'm, I'm uh, copying this tilde slash kd5 installation to tilde slash kd6. And in there, I need to just replace all of fives with six and that's enough. Okay. So this is just creating the two directories tilde slash kd5 and tilde slash kd6, but then I also need to use them so for that, in order to be able to build um, a calc, I need to install libcanbera dev. Then I change the correct directory. I build kcalc, then I run kcalc. For Qt6, I need to be able to build Wayland. So I go up to install oxygen, XSL, T, proc, XML2, text info, libcanbera dev. And then I change the correct directory. I build kcalc, then I run kcalc. This is it. Thank you.